morning welcome to morning coffee again the paragraph we're using today is leviticus chapter 23 verse 33 to 43 and he read thusly the lord said to moses say to the israelites on the 15th day of the seventh day seventh month the lord's feast of tabernacle begins and it lasts for seven days the first day is a sacred assembly do not do no regular work and you can complete the reading the topic today that i'm going to use will be the feast of the tabernacle the feast of the tabernacle the feast of the tabernacles also called the feast of uh, in gathering was a special celebration involving the whole family and you can check that in exodus 23 16 or leviticus 23 32 Deuteronomy 16 13 you will see all this about all these feasts God, I just love the Bible what I love about, about the Bible is that Bible keep on, God keep on repeating himself in the Bible he repeats himself and refer you to to places so you cannot say you don't know something because when you read the Bible it will, it will refer you back to Old Testament it will take you back to New Testament oh and when Jesus came Jesus keep on digging to the Old Testament so don't be scared of the Bible or the Old Testament because they are all together they uh, uh they like the passover this feast taught family members of all ages about god's nature and what he had done for them and was a time of renewal so people that were not born during the time the the god brought the israelites out of egypt this passover time was the thing that makes them remember and renew commitment to god made them remember what god had done to them and say you know what i have to commit to god again my brothers and sisters, it does that sound so familiar that we need to commit ourselves to God. We need to go to God every day, daily, and commit ourselves to God because God is our Father. God is everything. I don't know about you, but God is my Father, my Mother, my source of inspiration, my everything. Like everything. God is everything to me. Our families also need ritual of celebrations to renew to faith and to pass it on to our children whatever you do today you pass it to your children listen to me parents uh, let me pause here you will don't understand whatever you do in your home you think children don't understand but i tell you children are very smart and intelligent so you teach them practice what you teach your children don't tell your children to do one thing and you go and do another because they're going to be laughing at you like that their mommy is lying to us or something so that is how god is god teach us to practice things that god have taught us to do that way we can teach our children children and children children in addition to christmas easter we should select other special days to commemorate God's goodness. Because God's goodness is great. A lot of us wait till Thanksgiving Day to thank God. A lot of us wait for Christmas. Especially if some of us go to church on Easter Day, we wear our best clothes. But we know every day is a Thanksgiving to God. Every day should be your Easter Day. Every day should be your Resurrection Day. Every day should be your Christmas Day. Just go to God in prayer, in praises, and in worship. God bless you all. So, Today, I'm going to pray because we're about to end up the morning coffee for today. Dear Father, I thank you for my trials and tribulation and suffering that has led me to constantly bow my knee to pray more, fast more, worship more, read and meditate more on your word that leads me to know Christ more and to bat this morning coffee scripture in Jesus Christ's wonderful and miraculous name. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you almightily. And remember, talk to Jesus and read your word. This Reverend John. I love you, but God loves you more. Bye now. Subscribe and like our YouTube channel on the link above. And follow us on Facebook.com slash Divine Soldiers of Christ, Twitter.com slash Divine underscore SOC, and Instagram.com slash Reverend Joy Nwajuk. Thank you.